What's going on YouTube? <laughs> it's a beautiful day, so I thought I'd shoot a video. I've decided that, uh, man, I love that truck. Love that truck. I need to get that thing back together. It's been a work truck here lately, hauling crap around. But check this out. Remember that pile of crap that I showed you not too long ago? That bike looked like hell. It's still got a little ways to go, but look, check this out. I put some new saddlebags on it. And these exhausts came out of a Harley. Me and my son fabbed it up. I didn't know how it was going to turn out, so I didn't. I was scared to cut the camera on and show you all the crap that we went through and how we pieced it together. It looked like a shit show at first. We took all the chrome off. This this chrome came off of a, the bike originally. This pipe came off of a Harley. This pipe came off of a Harley. We had to do some modifications with the frame to hold it to hold the uh, mufflers on. They didn't bolt up. We had to fab a fab and weld all this in. And then we trimmed muffler covers to go in here. These are cut, custom cut pieces off of both bikes. You know, this is, this chrome cover is off of a Honda. This chrome cover is off of a Harley. This, this chrome color is off of a Honda. This little piece right here is off of a Harley. These came off of a Harley. Yeah, I went ahead and pried that bondo out it was cracking <laughs> i popped it out of there we're gonna fix that tank i went to a uh mr motorcycle down here local uh shop uh, uh auto uh, uh motorcycle shop and uh i didn't care about the too much about the, this crap right here <laughs> so I, I just made the cable go straight up here you know i haven't i i i've got a little bit of money stuck together but my funds are kind of low but my main objective is to get these controls back up here working right. Get a longer uh, clutch cable right here. They're not open today. They're going to be open tomorrow. But at least you can shift the clutch up there instead of down here low. Uh, all in all, man. Oh, yeah. This, my buddy Lou turned me on. This is not the original tail light. Uh, I forget what it came off of. I think it came off of an old Harley. So I took that old bulky looking headlight a uh, tail light out i want to go ahead and add another light down here a tombstone light i want to put it on down here to cover this or i haven't made up my mind yet we're going to take and trim this fender up kind of come up a little bit and around here around this thing i like I, I haven't made up my mind which which look i want i haven't completely made up my mind yet uh this was just fabbed up i got to go back and get some more chrome bolts and put in there because I don't like these. These are just something to hold it on there for now. That was just a, uh, what do you call it when you're just throwing something together temporarily? Just see what it's going to look like. That's what I did. So I'm going to have to come back in here and get some chrome bolts and, and do it right. And, and this is just a template that I had cut off of something else. I don't want to use this. These lights light up with the brakes this lights up with the brakes and then it has running lights that come on too uh ain't really particularly care for them bulky ass eyeball looking turn signals i'm not gonna i i, I like to just the i don't like them turn signals on there that look like the hondas have it's not my it's not my cup of tea but i was going to take and use diamond plate aluminum diamond plate for this plate right here and then two chrome screws and then finish it off but that's the kind of stuff that uh, I like to do. I like to change stuff up, and I like to build something out of my own. Uh, for for a sissy bar, I was thinking about taking some square iron and twist it, and and bolt it back here. Then have have a twisted iron, square iron, come up to right about here and come to a point, and then maybe have a dagger that you stick there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Lou's got a dagger that we're going to use. I got to go find the, uh, I got to go find the square, not square tubing, square metal iron rod, square, I don't know the correct, what you would call that, but I want to make a custom sissy bar with a, with a dagger that's either oscillated that stays solid and sticks in there, but that's the kind of stuff that I'm interested in doing with this bike. Uh, I thought about taking a, a a set of harley speedometer gauge and stick in here and relocate this uh you know 
weld in two, two different gas filling places right here. Like one could have uh, the gas gauge on it, the, you know, the fuel gauge on it, and the other one was where you put the gas in. Uh, that's the kind of stuff that I'm going to be interested in doing on this bike. Something that's handmade, you know, something that you come up with all on your own and make it look nice and right. Uh, I wanted to get a little far on here so I could show you that that uh, my ideas have good, I have good ideas. Sometimes I don't know how quite they're going to come together. And, and sometimes when I put something together, it don't look right. And it looks like shit and I have to tear it back apart. And, you know, sometimes people even walk up on me while I'm working on something. And they go, man, what are you doing? And I'm like, dude, I'm building me some pipes for the bike. And I think it happened once over there while I was doing it. And it kind of shied me away from cutting on the camera because I was scared, you know, that y'all might think, oh, damn, look, he's going to screw this bike up. It's going to be rigged to hell. But uh, this turned out great. So I went ahead and decided to cut on the camera and show you what we got so far. Uh, I got I got a little tweaking to do on you know these these saddle these saddle bags I need to uh, put a bar back here to hold them out away from the uh, fender a little bit to where they ain't sagging down so much there's just a lot of things that that that, uh, that I want to do to this bike and uh, I'm gonna teach my son how to ride it it's an 1100 thank God for that because I I really I've owned 750s and stuff in my time but I like the way this bike responds to the throttle, man. You, you have to hold on to the handlebars when you take off. When you nail that throttle, my son's been on this bike with me, and uh, <laughs> that's why we need a sissy bar, because his ass keeps sliding off the back seat. <laughs> uh, I just want it to be an original, man. I don't want to drive around something that's stocked from the factory. I, I like to build things, and then when you pull up on something, they kind of look at it, and they go, damn, and they start looking at it, and they just can, they can start walking around it and looking at all the different things that are different about this bike versus something that you just go buy stock and get on it and ride it. Anyway, <laughs> I'll catch y'all later till next time. Limster out.